very good uh, very good morning to you all and uh, we have introduced our subject yesterday and uh, and uh, today yes this is what uh, we have seen uh, the uh, the at the end yesterday we have seen the origin of automation and with that automation we need to uh, enter into the uh, title called robotics once we, uh, we are very familiar with automation then we will move to uh, robotics mm -hmm. yes this is what we have seen yesterday that is uh, the uh, steam engine and the first steam engine which was introduced during uh 150 bc and uh, uh it is uh, it is visible uh, the presentation are visible and uh, see yes sir it's visible yes, yes. sir yes yes and uh, during uh, 1904 uh, the ford, uh, ford motor uh, introduced uh, the uh, Uh, automation uh, in their uh, uh, transfer lines uh, in order to assemble uh, uh, the uh, various parts of the cars and uh, uh, from that uh, we need to uh, correlate uh, the uh, terminology robotics with the automation and uh, for doing the mass production and the food uh, introduced uh, um, uh, automation and this is what the uh, the, uh, the picture depicting uh, a play role uh, a man uh, that the slave uh, acts as a robot and during 1921 uh, and it happens and 1942 isaac asimov introduced the term called robotics in his science fiction story and that was the origin of uh, uh, the uh, terminology of vocabulary uh, titled robotics during 1942 and uh, isaac asimov introduced the term called uh, uh, robotics and uh, you can you can, even you can say you can see the movie called i robot uh, and uh, in the, during that time itself he uh, uh, um, forecasted that uh, in future there will be a subject called robotics during 42 it's he, uh, he, he is very conscious and he is very predictive and his predict, prediction is um, well and good and uh, even uh, uh, to predict from now Uh, that is in uh, like that he uh, he has many uh, predictions and uh, what would be the uh, human civilization after 200 years from now like that he thought during 1942 itself and that was the uh, origin uh, of uh, uh, the terminology called uh, robotics and uh, uh, i i will introduce some uh, um, uh historical uh, uh chronological development but i hope uh, you, you please refer some textbooks for the uh, history and all uh, and anyway i will introduce some uh, uh, chronological developments over uh, the robot technology during uh, uh, 1700 that is in 17 mid of 17s uh, and human sized mechanic dolls uh, that played music that was developed during 1700 and during Now, 1881, as I said earlier, Jacquard uh, introduced uh, that uh, um, uh, punch card for doing uh, for weaving uh, threads uh, uh, in uh, cloths. Uh, and during 1809, and uh, Millard uh, constructed a mechanical doll uh, which is capable of doing uh, painting. And during 1946, uh, inventor uh, G. C. Devil developed a control device. Which which can record uh, the electrical signals, and uh, it, it got patent during uh, 1952, and uh, during uh, 1951, uh, and that is a uh, work related to teleoperators and uh, handling radioactive, which handles the radioactive materials, and that was patent during 1951, later 1958, and uh, during 1952. and there is a prototype numerical control machine demonstrated at uh, um, uh, MIT that is in uh, Mississippi Institute of Technology after several years of uh, development and uh, the uh, patent during 1961 uh, for automa automatically programmed tooling and during 1954 a british inventor uh, kenbo applied uh, a robot design and he got the patent during 1957 like that it goes on and uh, the, the programmatic transfer during 54 and uh, the first commercial uh, robot introduced to planet corporation 
by by introduced by planned corporation in 1959 and it was controlled by uh, uh, limit switches and camps and uh, inumate uh, inumate during 1960 and uh, uh, die casting uh, did by uh, inumate robot during 1961 and uh, shaky that is uh, shaky robot introduced see here yeah shaky robot uh, introduced during uh, uh, 1950s and uh, um, which we can move around and uh, can do its uh, work and it was the first robot that is shaky is the first robot and uh, general drawal and uh, during 1971 and uh, stanford arm a small electrically powered robot arm uh, developed at stanford university and uh, uh, it was titled as stanford arm and uh, uh, this is uh, like that uh, the uh, uh, evolution goes on during uh, 2000 and all we have uh, micron nano robots uh, that was built by the smart materials and it can be applied uh, even in uh, the underwater uh, uh, underwater and uh, during uh, the aerial ve uh, vehicles can be uh, performed uh, uh, the task uh, in a very nice way uh, with the aid of the smart materials that happens during uh, late uh, 2000 and uh, it was the evaluation and i hope uh, uh, the history uh, you make a detailed uh, uh, reading over the history and uh, the evolvement and uh, the chronological development of uh, robotics uh, uh, with the aid of any uh, textbook and uh, any will uh, if time for permits uh, we will uh, hope we will see in in a detailed way also we will see uh, once we have entered uh, then we will see one by one and uh, who, uh, what happened uh, during 1945 there is a master slave manipulator made uh, without any controller without any sense uh, and uh, there is even there is no program and th at that time also we don't have any computer and all and what what it can do it can uh, replicate uh, what uh, what did by the master see this this is the mod master master arm uh, we, we as a man man has to operate the master arm uh, which can which can be uh, replicated by the slave uh, when we are uh, dealing with the uh, radioactive material at that time uh, 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 we have to be very conscious uh, that uh, the uh, uh, the absence of the human because uh, it may hurt uh, the people therefore at that time we have uh, they have introduced the master slave manipulator uh, which can uh, replicate the work which was done by the uh, master the slave can uh, replicate the work which was uh, which was did by the master and strictly it is a mechanical device the uh, the motion on alone transferred uh, through the wire ropes and pulleys here, here uh, we do have any controller and we don't have any sensors and there is no program at that time even that time we don't have any computers in that way the evaluation goes on and uh, there is an enormous uh, enormous um, variations uh, when and there is a uh, uh, mechanical system which uh, com combines with the uh, way which fancies when it uh, to uh, electromechanical and uh, that was the, um, uh, the uh, what we see here during 2000 all we had um, a robot like uh, where, where the where the picture uh, when uh, and uh, during from 1950 to 2000 what happened uh, what happened is see uh, we have uh, there is an enormous uh, uh, growth uh, in the uh, area of uh, robotics and uh, since we are at uh, present we are in 2020 uh, uh, probably uh, 70 years went and with the, with that 70 years uh, what uh, made uh, this change is uh, we have introduced uh, the transistor once the transistor came we have uh, computers and there are uh, we did a large uh, work with aid of uh, computers and uh, earlier uh, we have applied uh, computer to do a single task once we have a control when uh, we have control control uh, can do can uh, many tasks uh, and even one computer can do uh, can control many machines and even uh, the, uh, with the aid of a central computer we can uh, 
do many tasks we can control many uh, operations and many missions and that was uh, did uh, during the mid of uh, 1950 and uh, to the 20 and that was the evolution when we have nc when the uh, the nc got uh, validated in cnc and then sim and uh, the agb do we have uh, agb in the uh, the evolution and uh, this is what happened uh, during uh, the mid days of uh, 1950 and uh, to, 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 to 2020 and uh, see uh, the uh, evolution and uh, uh, the robotic arm uh, doing uh, uh, a routine task that is an industrial robot uh, uh, doing its uh, welding uh, in the assembly line and uh, see the uh, now we are uh, in the industry 4.0 and uh, during uh, industry 1.0 we don't have any sensors uh, this period may be depicted depicted in 6 during 1600 to 1800 and uh, we have uh, at that time we have uh, converted uh, uh, the power, water power into steam power and during uh, 1800 uh, we have introduced the sensors and uh, and we did uh, the various work that is mass production and assembly line can be possible with aid of uh, industry 2.0 and later 1950 and uh, uh, when it evolved uh, we have computers and uh, we have automation and uh, during 2000 we have uh, the hu- uh, human intelligence based uh, it and uh, what might be uh, the intelligence and what might be the human human, human based intelligence with aid aid it that we need to uh, discuss and see uh, this might be the uh, proper definition and but uh, uh, the ashish is that uh, uh, he is very conscious that nobody seems to agree the definition but he is defined the robot in the following way and uh, to be called robot it should uh, do some or all the following task either the robot has to do either one task how it has to do the all the you know, following task uh, either it should move around sense and manipulate the environment and display intelligent behavior this is what uh, disseminated by ashish datta uh, and we have given one uh, video uh, video uh, link uh, is it that is it it for uh, for today class i request uh, 10 people to join with us till the end uh, and that 10 people Yes, right. I'll tell you. Yes. Ananta Krishnan. Ananta Krishnan. Anil Kumar. Yes, sir. Anjaya, uh, number 11. AJ Singh. They, 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 we call it as AJ Singh. Anurag Dash, 12. And Anurag Jangir. and arvind roshan ashish kumar priyastava ashwatram sreesh uh, babu 18 number 18 and i request this 10 people to join with us till the end ashwatram yes sir yes Ashutra, what is the current affair, Ashutra? Uh, Discuss the current affair. I think the this year's bill was passed. I guess the budget. Budget, yes. Uh, yeah. The highlights of budget. Please share the highlights of the budget. I'm not really sure about the picture. I'm checking to it. Uh, other than that, I'm not sure. Okay. Any other, any other current affair? ट्रॉफी
T20 uh, Tamil Nadu won T20 very good very good what was the name of the trophy uh, Syed Mushtaq Ali yes yes even uh, the uh, yeah, that is a play that is the dance uh, video uh, disseminated by the captain is it so yes sir yeah to vijay's vaati coming yeah. yes 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 any other any other yes and uh, i'll tell you, and there are there are uh, some highlights uh, with with our hindu hindu first first page recovery vehicle uh, hindu uh, hindu sees the uh, budget as a recovery vehicle and uh, there is an balance between the infrastructure and the social welfare the picture when there is a picture um, it uh, it shows there is a balance between the infrastructure and the social welfare and uh, uh, some other headlines also we have state allowed enhanced 4 percentage of gd gsdb borrowing and that was one and uh, the record allocation of 1.1 lakh crore for railways that was the second uh, headline the third headline is interest on pf contribution over 2.0 lakh to be taxed uh, and uh, i think uh, it has to be reconsidered by the central government and uh, and uh, this uh, when we are when we are concerned about uh, the taxes and the budget central budget and we should be aware about uh, the protest uh, by the uh, farmers uh, even after two months also uh, it, uh, we, it, uh, that we that we didn't find any end with that of uh, uh, the protest uh, still uh, the protest goes on even after uh, 150 uh, death also they are continuing the um, protest and uh, once time permits we will uh, discuss a uh, little more about the happenings uh, in and around us and uh, this is what the current affairs and uh, okay and this is what uh, uh, we'll talk about the robot and uh, this is what the uh, definition uh, uh, disseminated by asis data and uh, either uh, a robot has to do uh, uh, it has to do all the task move around it should move around it should sense and manipulate the environment and display intelligent behavior and what 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 would be the intelligent behavior that is a very big question mark that we will discuss uh, Uh, i'll give, give a chance to you to discuss about the intelligence and what is intelligent and all that we'll discuss later so based on this definition the, the cnc machine is a robot based on this de- definition this then I, i i have requested the 10 10 people to unmute the mic and uh, please you um, uh, give your feedback uh, and uh, uh, whether whether cnc machine is a robot Dear gentlemen, what happened? Dear gentlemen, yes, sir. I think so. CNC machine is a robot. See, see, uh, there is a definition in the same page. It has to do either one task or it has to do all the tasks. Whether it uh, the CNC machine uh, will move around, whether it senses. and it manipulate the environment or it display the intelligent behavior or uh, will uh, in, in 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 a different way I'll ask the question whether the computer we can call it as a robot or a laptop or a pointer we can call it as a robot No, please, please go ahead. Time is running. Yes, sir, the CNC machine has the ability to automatically change tools, sir. Yes, yes, okay. So that dis that is a display of intelligent behavior, sir. Though we give instructions, though we give instructions. Hmm. 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 Okay, shall we call? Shall we shall we uh, uh, call the calculator as a robot? It calculates based on our input. It calculates and returns the results. Can, uh, no, uh, sir, not can... exactly. Okay, got it. 
No, sir. So it's CNC machine is not a robot. Yes. Yes, you got it. Yes, you got it. Based on our uh, instruction, it uh, it works. Is it is it so? Therefore, it 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 would not be a robot. Okay. Either it has to move around, it it has to sense or manipulate the environment, it has to display the intelligent behavior. It it shows it uh, it has to uh, um, give the intelligent behavior. And uh, this is what I have uh, already taught uh, the, uh, the evolution of uh, uh, various generations of robot. And the first generation uh, robot can do uh, can do a simple task like pick and place, and there is no any external sensors. And uh, during the second generation robot, it uh, does uh, it it can uh, interact uh, interact with the environment. Uh, and the third generation intelligent smart material, and when uh, due to that involvement, we have the third generation robot. And the uh, future future we we have to talk about the uh, future robot. And I'll tell you the, uh, what was the uh, current scenario and what what was the uh, maximum extent uh, we can use the robot uh, in, in the subsequent stage. I'll tell you and see the uh, um, uh, first generation robot classification. We have uh, Cartesian robot and cylindrical robot and spherical robot and scalar robot. This is the freedom. Do you do you do you have about the terminology called uh, degrees and what it might be? Dear 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 students, what is degrees of freedom? Okay, okay, well, you are taking a uh, much uh, larger time. Okay, I'll uh, tell you. Uh, I'll introduce the degrees of freedom. Yes, yes. Someone, someone unmuted. Please tell me, tell me. So degrees of freedom are basically the number of uh, like movement uh, channels there in the body. So for example, if the body can move in one direction only, so like we use one degree freedom. If it's like two, so two degree freedom that way. Yes, of course. Very good, very good, very good. If, if, very good. Uh, who is this? Sir, Sabarni. Sabarne, Sabarne, very good, very good. And if it is so, if it is so, think about the various. Uh, we have various joints in our human anatomy. We have various joints. So uh, the joint based on that joints, whether it has how many degrees of freedom, you please think. And uh, once uh, we are, when we are talking about degrees of freedom, we will we will revisit that uh, the degrees of freedom with that of human anatomy. And uh, this is what the uh, cheaper, uh, that is sm uh, smaller, faster, and cheaper processor comes during uh, uh, late uh, 90. And when there is an involvement of sensors, we have uh, 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 we, we, we were in the present uh, state. And this is what uh, the actuation robot, uh, robot uh, that is numerical control in micro domain. And see, uh, we have uh, control. For controlling the motor, and motor can rotate, and it, it, it tries to move the oak table from one one place to an, another place. It can uh, the, there is a possibility of uh, uh, change over the extraction. Once it, uh, it it is at the end, uh, the optical encoder encode, and it gives the signals to the uh, controller. And the way that uh, we have tried to reduce, if we are, if we are trying to reduce this system into a smaller tiny one, and whether it is feasible that we need to think. See uh, uh, whether it is feasible to create a uh, with uh, 20 uh, mm cube value and uh, we need the, we, here we have uh, motors instead uh, motors how how we can reduce that uh, instead motors uh, we can use whether it actuators and this this uh, uh, link uh, uh, the, that is lead screw may be called as a link and this encoder may be called as a sensor in recent days and whether it is possible to reduce the actuators into uh, a tinier actuator and that is what we need to think when we are uh, talking about the uh, micro uh, or micro robot or nano robot and we, that that is what we need to discuss when it uh, the, due to the development of various materials that is electroactive materials piezo materials shape memory alloys and it it uh, now it is uh, possible to reduce uh, and uh, and see and see this is this is a uh, 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 the micro robot, micro robot, and uh, and uh, it it can kill the viruses or bacteria, 
it can kill the viruses or uh, bacteria and uh, uh, it can be injected uh, through our veins and the uh, uh, through the vessels and and uh, it goes inside and uh, kills the tissues uh, and uh, unwanted or dead tissues and uh, it comes out this is one technology which we have today and see uh, during uh, there are there are some uh, uh, in recent days uh, there are plenty of uh, bypass surgery surgery and due to the uh, hectic work and due to the uh, um work pressure and uh, stress uh, there are uh, plenty of uh, uh, bypass surgeries and uh, we have robot to uh, to make the path uh, clear and uh, the in order to remove the blockages in the vessel, vessel we can use the robot and this see this is the tiniest robot, robot it can it can remove the blockages in the veins see it it removes the black blo blockages and here what was the uh, issue and what was the problem with the uh, this system is and we don't have any uh, provision to remove the debris that was the issue and still there is a large study goes uh, how to remove the debris over uh, uh, the removal of uh, the blockages and uh, it might be the uh, uh, greater extension of uh, the robotics in the near future Uh, you can also have a visit and how we can able to since the uh, size of the ro robot is very minimal and it might be uh, that is a micro robot how how we can uh, this robot has the operation to remove or drill the debris uh, that is blockages it doesn't have any provision to take or carry the blockages with that with 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 then with with that and uh, we cannot uh, uh, remove that blockages and if it is feasible make a study and uh, try to have attention over the uh, articles and uh, please go ahead with that and this is what the technology uh, we have and uh, due to the uh, uh, development of various materials uh, various smart materials uh, now we are uh, such a size uh, such a tinier size and uh, this some uh, classification of robot that is uh, parallel and uh, serial robot and mobile robot and uh, and uh, industrial and social robot and uh, this is what the tennis uh, robot and see uh, some uh, micro robots can do uh, uh, dent they can clean the teeth and all and see uh, uh, micro robot uh, even uh, it can uh, there is a cap Uh, we, if we uh, we are wearing the cap means it can cut the hair like that we have uh, uh, robot uh, uh, in industry and robot in uh, current days and uh, see uh, if the cost of the uh, cut in us is 50 dollars if the cost of the robot is 10 dollars and it is uh, nominal isn't it and uh, in that way we have uh, the robot to even cut the hair and uh, see uh, the uh, artificial muscle uh, doesn't have any joints and it can uh, even hold a lighter uh, material and see the emulating uh, that is snake bad made artificial muscles and uh, now to try in the people who who are uh, suffered by the stroke uh, and uh, uh, the human being can be uh, trained uh, by the uh, robot a robot can teach uh, it can uh, there is no possible to recover from the stroke and paralytic attack and uh, and even we have the autonomous uh, transport uh, we don't have a, any drivers to drive this uh, vehicle and see when when robot uh, uh, when there is an uh, human humanoid and uh, whether uh, we need to think that whether it should be a happy robot or uh, it should be a sad robot that is that is the study of the robot uh, once we need to discuss with uh, at the end we need to discuss and uh, with uh, when uh, humans uh, when the human are uh, trying to associate with the robot that is now robots trying to live in society and what was the we need to follow when it try to live with uh, society that has to be discussed okay this is what the uh, uh, computer interface uh, with the uh, uh, human being
and uh, automatic ro- road tracking and all can be possible today and uh, we even we have a alert system for the drivers to uh, um, identify whether he is uh, uh, good enough to uh, well, drive the vehicle and uh, as i said said earlier uh, the loss has to be uh, made uh, when it is associated with the uh, human and uh, and this is what the uh, last slide which was disseminated by assist data and we need think that one one robot can do the task of the 100 man but a 100 robot cannot do a task of the one extraordinary man so you please decide whether uh, you should be the uh, extraordinary man or you should be the man like that he is disseminating and he is ending the first lecture and uh, this is what the components of the robot uh, we are going to uh, in the uh forthcoming session we are going to uh, talk about the various parts of the robot see this is the base base has to be uh, fixed it is a fixed base and it won't be mo- uh, it, it is uh, it is fixed and it is not movable one and we have various joints and the uh, we have the links the joints are uh, joined by the links and we have the links and at the end at the end we have the end effectors this is called end effector and they are sometimes it may be called as a gripper or it may be called as pull and in order to uh, uh, make a uh, control over the the various system we have the controller whether whether it may be a pc or it may be the microcontroller or it may be the microprocessor uh, essential to do the uh, control over the uh, various activities which we are planning in our mind and this is what uh, we are going to have visit in the uh, subsequent uh, classes and uh, so what is robot and it is a electromechanical device can be programmable and multifunctional and sensible for environment and see from automation for automation we need to uh, we need to make it travel to a robot and automation robot are closely related technologies and uh, automation uses mechanical electrical and computer based system and uh, can be uh, in operation and control the production and even, uh, they, for example for uh, transfer lines and uh, assembly lines uh, feedback control system and nc machines uh, we have uh, we are uh, already automated various uh, operations and uh, from that we need to make a move to uh, robotics and uh, industrial automation has uh, three uh, classification three broad classes of industrial automation or uh, fixed automation uh, progressive automation and uh, flexible automation concerning the fix, fixed automation it is used uh, uh, when the value of the production is very high and uh, and it is appropriate to design special equipment Uh, to process the product and uh, when uh, when the production rate is high at that time and uh, uh, the uh, fixed automation when when the production rate is uh, that is uh, the time of the production is very high and we are applying the fixed automation and uh, a good example of uh, automation can be uh, found in the auto uh, industry Uh, to perform the uh, dozen of uh, operations uh, we are uh, uh, we need depend the fixed automation and uh, and uh, the uh, on the other end we have uh, programmable automation uh, when when the volume of uh, production is relatively low and there is a variety of uh, products to be made in this case the production equipment is de- designed to adapt uh, to uh, various in production uh, configuration and in 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 the mean we have uh, the flexible automation and this this is the uh, relation between the uh, the product variety and the production volume with that of the various automation that is fixed automation programmable automation and flexible automation and with that with that we uh, we can define uh, and one more one more thing with that of uh, the flexible automation is uh, that is uh, uh when one batch is uh, associated with uh, 
the equipment and uh, it is reprogrammed to the process uh, to the next next batch and uh, we can use the uh, program uh, programmable automation with flexible automation different products can be made uh, at the same time uh, on the same manufacturing system this feature allows the level of ve uh, versatility that is not available in the pure uh, programmable automation as well as uh, in uh, fixed automation this means that the products can be produced on the flexible system in batches uh, it is uh, that is desirable or uh, several different product styles can be mixed on the system uh, the uh, computational power of the, uh, the control uh, control computer is what uh, makes uh, this waste uh, the way. Uh, versatility uh, possible and uh, the three uh, types of automation that is uh, robotics uh, um, coincides most closely with uh, program programmable automation and with that we can define the uh, uh, robot and, and the robot uh, robotics institute of america defines uh, it as an, an uh, industrial robot is a reprogrammable multifunctional manipulator designed to move material parts tool or a special device through variable programmed motions for the performance of the variety of tasks and uh, see the uh, service uh, robot uh, we have already we have vacuum cleaner and lane mover and uh, the you know to, to do certain tasks with the underwater for the surveillance medical we have professional uh, use also we have uh, robots and see some uh, typical example or classification of robots that is manipulator and uh, leg like robot and wheel robot and autonomous underwater underwater vehicle we have unmanned aerial vehicle and see when there is an uh, hu uh, human absence essential to perform the task with the nuclear power plant uh, in order to uh, make a clean of the, we have uh, decontaminating robot and uh, now to perform the repetitive task that is like uh, welding and uh, painting and all we have uh, robots like welding robot and painting robot and, and even in order to clean the uh, the water is and all we have the robots and uh, this is what the objective and uh, wh what what do you mean by end effector can anyone please remind what is the end effector i have given what is the end effector see this is what the end effector this is what the end effector and or sometimes it is called as a grid tool or sometimes it is called as a tool from this joint link and end effector we are going to make a move with the slurs and this is what the subsequent slide and i think do you have any uh, doubts with the uh, today's presentation no sir Yes. Okay, if you don't have uh, any doubts, we'll wind up here. Tomorrow we will meet uh, around 12:30. Okay, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes.